peace be with you welcome back to my channel for another video another spiritual download listen if this is the first time that you're coming across my channel i say hey hi and hello you are more than welcome to like the video share the video call your friend pick up your bible go to sleep take a nap stop the video go back to it and start it again listen whatever you feel as a newcomer you've been guided to this platform to do Honestly, I support the energy, be it good, bad, or indifferent. You know why? Because I know that we're under some type of judgment, baby, that's written in the scriptures. I know that every sign and every prophecy is coming to pass. So whatever energy you decide to come in, I promise you with my whole heart, soul, mind, and body that I support you in that energy, okay? If you're returning back to the channel, you are a lover, not a hater. You are my soul tribe. I love you. I missed you. Listen, I know the energy has been a little wicky, 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 whack. Okay? With these sucker MC ass karmics. Okay. Let's get into the energy, right? So somebody thought it not robbery again to try their little wicked, little dirty, little musty ass, dirt up under their nails ass hand at magic again under this new moon, you dumb dumb. Didn't we warn you? Did we not tell you to sit your punk ass down? See, now I got to come for your head. I got to. Because that's what spirit is doing. Spirit is about to come for that ass. Okay? Somebody thought that they were cloaking themselves. Okay? Pay attention to your dreams. You could be having dreams. Somebody's trying to block your intuition. Somebody don't want you to be with your divine counterpart. Blah, 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 blah. The same old wicked ass stuff. You know why? Because these people are not creative. Somebody wanted to shut your mouth. Somebody wanted to get you sick. Somebody wanted to do a whole bunch of stuff. But baby, honey, my friend, listen, I'm here to tell you it's not going to work. Why? Because you are the empress and somebody's going to find out the hard way. Somebody could be suffering greatly with anxiety, depression, sadness, because you figured them out. Ah, well, that was my intro. Two, 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 just as I said that on the mother freaking clock. Confirmation. This is about these twin flame journeys. This is really about the journey with yourself and the two of cups energy with you making a union with spirit. This is what this is about. Building up your spirit, man, is making the demons go crazy they're going mad they're very upset they don't know how to handle you they're targeting everybody who is out here telling the truth and they're teaming up and they believe as though they're cloaked and they are not cloaked oh i've already called in my appropriate protection again i pray that you've done the same i call upon the highest of white lights only the highest of white lights anything other than that please holy spirit shut that door let every evil eye spy and i go blind because you ain't got no permission to be here okay we support you in the energy though we support it because in spiritual court you about to get that ass drug to and mother freaking fro these people work in the night i just heard night crawler Somebody could be looking real, real tired, thinking that they're siphoning energy from you in the night. Baby, this is all an illusion. These demons are playing with these people. Like, I just see somebody playing racquetball with somebody's mental. Mental. They're mental, mental, going crazy in your cabeza over this empress, the real empress. Somebody saw your spot and they was like, ooh, I want that. I'm taking that. Okay. So what they do around the new moon? Whoever this person is, this person saw that you were a leader. You're coming up as the emperor and the empress. This is a divine union that is destined to come to pass. This person could have been attacking you and your soulmate. It, even if you're not with your soulmates, even if you've taken a vow of celibacy, even if you're single, you still energetically felt this. Why? Because your soulmate is getting closer to you. And this is the purpose to tear you two apart. Or you could be in a divine union with your divine masculine and or feminine or whatever you're in to listen i'm gonna need you to come in with the spirit of discernment the tower is here the veil has been lifted this person could have tried to cloak themselves scorpionic energy what they did was they thrusted the both of you into another ascension now where you're getting you just getting more powerful more high i don't even know what else to say a leo could be involved but you're moving towards happiness listen whoever this person is 
this person is losing their mind in the daytime, in the nighttime. What was I thinking? What was I? I just hear this person saying, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? That's all I hear this person saying. Severe depression, severe anxiety, a little shaky. Okay. Why? Because somebody tried to take your power. Okay. But see, when you try to take this much light from a pure light beam, it's poison to your karmic ass body. Your vessel is so toxic. Your mind is so messed up that this light that they tried to take, this person was not even pure enough to harness your energy. Thank you, spirit. This person was not pure enough. You got too much sun and light around you. Somebody went to siphon your energy and it poisoned the thief. Thieves, more than one, whatever it was, this person is... <sighs> This person is up the creek without a mother freaking paddle, okay? They up to shit to their eyebrows. They don't know what to do. They trying to find somebody. Could have did this to a, a king of cups, Scorpio, Pisces, and or cancer. Heavy on the Scorpio because the tower's here. Listen, this person got the victory. Somebody found out the hard mother freaking mother freaking mother freaking doggone way. That you are very, very spiritually protected and so is your soulmate. They tried to come hard for you. There's really nothing else to say. Somebody wanted your nine of cups. Somebody wanted your wishes to be, not be fulfilled. Your wishes are still getting fulfilled. You are the king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, and or Capricorn energy. Now this person just spying. They flipping cards on you all day to see if you know. So guess what's happening now? The spirits are playing tricks with their minds. They don't even know what they're seeing in the little Cristo bar. No something. You don't even know what the hell you're seeing. Sit your punk ass down in spiritual court. The Most High said, I'm going to break you down and make you out of spiritual change. This person will be the great example of what the hell not to mother freaking do. Somebody wanted you in your head about your destiny. They wanted to knock you off of your post. So they came in and they got to doing their little work. Oh my God. Why did they do that? Let me tell you why. Because it was divinely orchestrated for them to do so. And guess what? What they don't realize is that they opened up the floodgates for you to get access to every karmic person. Okay? Every karmic person. What they did by way of attacking you was they brought everybody right to the forefront right in spiritual court so spirit could just whoop all of their asses all together the hermit is here virgo energy okay whoever you are you could be somebody that's really to yourself really about your pentacle somebody wants your pentacle to stop you still coming in with the pentacle towards virgo and or capricorn energy you still got a success here king of swords you figured it out and knew who the hell it was and you are not playing you and your twin flame are not playing y'all are both coming up hard Emperor to the Empress, Queen of Swords to the King of Swords, okay? You both are seeing the truth together. You know how some people get into these relationships and they have to wait for their divine masculine to wake up and, oh, I got to wait for him to wake up. I got to break the curse from the karmic and he's still going back. No, boo. Uh-uh. Er, ah, pump the brakes. <laughs> Commercial motherfucking break. Both of y'all see at the same damn time. That's why the tower is here because that bell came crashing down. The wheel got to spin and my eyes started whooping ass up on the block. Now this person's trying to figure out, oh, well, I, I, I what? This person could be at a distance from you. This person could be spying at a distance, whatever it is, honey, baby, listen, very sneaky and motherfucking deceptive. Something could be very significant about July or August. Whoever this person is, they found out the hard way, boo-boo. They found out the hard way. The Lion of Judah came down on that ass in the spirit realm. Show me more, Holy Spirit. This person really is sitting up somewhere thinking that they got, yeah. They sitting up, honestly, this is, I have to give them credit. I have to give them credit for, for the effort, for just even thinking that they could put on the crown of the empress and or the high priestess. This person really thought they got away with it. This person really believed that they were the high priestess. This person was like, oh my God, I got her power. Oh my God, I have her energy. Oh my God, what am I going to do with it? But it started to poison them. Why? 
because what it did was all that Holy Spirit, all that holy light they were trying to tap into, sent their ass into a mental oblivion, spiritually left out in the mother freaking cold. This person could be playing around like they don't know about spirituality. They don't know about Santa Maria. They don't know about gaming. They don't know about no pala mayambe. Shut up, you liar. You a liar. You a straight up liar. And everybody in spiritual court knows it. Sit your lying ass down. Matter of fact, get your ass out of court. You don't even belong here, you liar. Show me this person. This person really was sitting up. You have to give them an E for effort. You have to give them credit for trying. Because by way of the imagining faculty, they really thought they took your crown. This person is sitting up thinking like, yeah, I got it. I did it. Oh, my God. Uh, and then the next night going crazy. Any little bit of power that they had to just brush their teeth and get dressed is gone. This person is, is about to go through. This person is about to go through something major. You talking about cycles and doors being shut and nailed shut. This person is way down, losing their shit, losing their mind, don't know what to do, depressed and sad. No, this ain't for no damn entertainment purposes. Whoever your punk ass is, we see you, boo. You you a folky, dirty, stinking ass sitting up in spiritual court. And I mean that with all of my beautiful Holy Spirit soul. Listen, how dare you? Try to come for the soul tribe. How dare you try to finagle your way in with this, what you like to call, uh, 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 uh. this is just a spiritual fiasco. Okay? Sit yourself down. Whoever this person is, there's other collaborators. Whoever this other collaborator is, all they do is spew hate, baby, online. Just hate, just mad, just mad all day, just every day mad. Just how do you live in that? How do you wake up? So when you open your eyes in the morning, you don't say, thank you, most high, for waking me up. You just wake up mad. You just mad. Oh, he's mother. This is this person. Listen, somebody tried to come for your divine union, boo. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Okay? Whoever this person is that attacked you could be somebody from the past. Taurus, Capricorn, and or Virgo energy. There could also be a Leo involved up in this mug, too. A raggedy-ass Leo. It could be significant. Okay, whoever this person was, they was working, working, working day and night. Okay, you was working, working day and night. You should have been working, working day and night to get yourself up out of that casket and that grave that you dug for this divine being because that's your grave, that's your casket. Listen, I'm going to need you to get it, get it together. Or you ain't got to do nothing up here in spiritual court because it looks like whatever you tried to do was an epic mother freaking fail. Now they're going to come in with some breadcrumb ass offer. Oh, hey, how are you? I am not. Do you want to have not? Shut up, liar. Not a pentacle. This person is cloaking themselves to be a friend. They are an enemy. They are a very big enemy. They're not to be trusted. Okay. They could have done this again. Whoever this person is, they're mad because you got your twin, baby. And both of you are very spiritual, very awakened, very high up on the spiritual totem pole. And what you cannot get done, your twin is coming in and knocking these fools on their spiritual asses. Listen, this is why they're in the Nine of Swords, the King of Swords. This is your twin. Even if you're not with this person, this person energetically knows when the hell you're going through something. And what's so funny is you know when they're going through something. If you two have not met yet and this union has not come to pass, you are very much connected in the 3D above that, 5D, 10D and above. Okay, whatever this is, this is a very powerful union. It's very, very spiritually protected. Somebody brought their raggedy ass again under the moon, trying to do some incantations. Really, I just see somebody with a really nasty poo poo mouth, a little caca mouth. You know, they got caca all in the back of their throat, caca on their tongue, stinky, stinky cucaracha energy. Listen, this person is nasty. Okay, this person was supposed to throw you off your rocker, make you look like you was losing it. Boo boo, baby, honey, ha ha. You better worry about what you're going to do when this tower comes back because this tower is coming down on your head. Now this person, you know, like I said, you could be somebody that's very introverted to yourself. Now this person is locked in their house. They don't want to come out because they're afraid what the hell is going to happen. This person could get hit by a car. They don't know what the hell is going to happen. They're afraid of everything. They're afraid of a tree falling on them. 
They're just imagining these vain imaginings about things that could happen that ain't happened because of the magic that they did. They came up against a king and a queen of cups, Scorpio, Pisces, and or Cancer. Okay? A divine match. Emperor and Empress. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. This is a divine match. Queen of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. This is a divine union that is supposed to take place. And they're both some beasts. In the doggone spirit realm. This is what the hell I'm talking about here. Come through spirit. Listen. Whatever the hell these people had going on with this BS. They're like, oh, well, I thought you were all loving like, yeah, mm, okay, we are. But you know what? You stupid. You're dumb. You're really dumb. You're really, really dumb. Whatever you tried to do, honey, it's about to backfire on you and your entire existence. Whatever the hell you tried to do to this couple... The emperor and empress, king of pentacles, queen of pentacles, but one of them could have been a queen of pentacles that did this too towards Virgo Capricorn because the Virgo is here. Could have collaborated with somebody else. Could have been a Virgo, a Taurus, and a Leo. Ain't nobody crazy around here. Listen, let me tell you something. Spirit says, what the hell I'm saying is the truth. I ain't even had time to show the cards. Show me these raggedy ass people. And now they're just spying. Show me these people, please, and thank you. Oh, now they want to come in and be your friend. Can Oh, come on, let's go hang out. Let's talking a little bit. How are you? Why do you want to be friends now? I don't want to stand next to you. You got a tower hanging over your ass. You got a tower about to crash down on your monkey ass. Okay? That's what you get for monkeying around in people's energy. And I mean that literally. You were monkeying around, fooling around, playing with magic, doing stuff that you had no business doing. I just get this person as a coward. Yeah, now they're getting karma. Now they're getting some karma. You're at the, listen, the wheel of fortune is clarifying the wheel of fortune. Now you're at the top of the wheel. This person is in the five of pentacles or they will be because this is what they wanted for you. Show me this person, Holy Spirit. Queen of Pentacles keep coming up strong towards Virgo Capricorn. Whoever you are, boo-boo, you thought you was playing with somebody. Your ass is about to get waxed. Whatever you had going on, show me this Queen of Pentacles. Oh, thank you. Mm. 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 I can't make it up. Look, the two cards are stuck together. King of Swords is a nasty, bitter, biatch energy. Nasty mouth not a lady, not a young gentleman, not a man, not a woman, just the lowest level of energy, somebody that abuses their power. This person just tries to think of ways to tear people down. They are miserable, tormented by the demons that they cannot conquer. And so they want to project that onto loving unions because they could have missed their chance with a twin flame or maybe they're not destined to have a soulmate. Everybody's not destined to be in a divine union. Listen. Lack of rationalism, manipulation. Look, these are illusions. This person could have been projecting whatever this was. Somebody was projecting this. Now this shit then went in reverse. Nine of swords. Somebody could have been projecting this onto you. Whoever this person is, they're avoiding reality. They don't want to, they, they want to act like it. They didn't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. I just sitting over here and I'm helping people. You full of shit. That's what you are. This person says, uh-huh, avoiding the situation, scams, the missed opportunity. Somebody that's superficial. This says an opportunity may have been missed, bad planning. Somebody could have been trying to come towards you. Somebody could have got into a bad car accident. Somebody could have been trying to come towards you where you at to project some of this stuff onto you and spirit block that ass. Flights could have got canceled. The rental car could have got canceled. They could have not had no money for gas. Now they sitting up here. I told you somebody was trying to move towards you and it was an epic fail. The chariot is somebody moving towards you. This is how desperate, this is how desperate this person was to get close to you to try to project this energy onto you. Now they're grieving. Now they're in this five of cups trying to save face, trying to look like everything's okay and everything is not okay. Show me more Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. Show me more, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. Show me what I need to see, Holy Spirit, please, and thank you. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, you get to go into your nine of cups. This person wanted your wishes to not be fulfilled. They wanted to affect your desires. 
You could have been manifesting and you could be manifesting. You could have a new beginning coming in by way of a new home, a new everything, just a new relationship. Everything's looking good. And this person said, uh-uh, I'm going to try to take her out. Show me what these people did, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, King of Cups energy. Somebody betrayed a King of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, and or Scorpio. This was the ultimate betrayal. Whoever this person was, they were cloaked for a really, really long time. This Five of Cups gives me somebody cloaked like a mother. Cloaked. Okay? Somebody got caught. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Archangel Michael, please and thank you. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Show me what else I need to see. Please and thank you. This concludes my reading. Okay. Oh, let me just show you this because they did do magic. Projections, magic, something to tear apart two people that were meant to be together. Judgment is here. And now this person is losing their mind because they're under judgment. Whatever the hell they did, it backfired. This tower, honestly, ain't even came down yet. These people feel as though they got away with it. I'm going to be honest. This person, whoever this empress is, whoever you are, Libra energy, you are still sitting up on your throne. The page of wands represents good news about something coming in by way of whatever you're manifesting. You are the true magician. Whatever these people did, it's a hell to the no for you and spirits. Oh, well. Yeah, now they're sitting here. Look, now they're sitting here stuck. This is what they look like. Stuck. Lost. Which way do I go? Which way do I go? Yes, saw. Which way do I go? They don't even know what the hell to do. Drinking themselves into oblivion. This person could also be doing some type of hardcore drugs too, y'all. This right here lets me know somebody's doing some type of drugs. Somebody could get real, real high and start working with spirits. I know that sounds creepy, but this is really what I'm getting. Somebody that's on some type of drugs, pills, alcohol. I mean, to the point where they're just not in reality. Does that make sense? Yeah, they're not in reality. This, seven, this uh, seven of Cups in reverse is somebody in denial, confusion. Okay, they could be, I mean, a, a drug addict. It ain't nothing else to say. Out of control, but fooling around with magic. It's weird. Yeah, Ace of Wands. This is you on your new beginning. You figured something out. Something by way of the Most High came down to protect you. And this person is lost. They tried to trap you, put you in some type of mental entrapment so you look crazy and lose your mind or something. Now these people are really going through it. And with the judgment, what? What the hell? They really should be more concerned about this. They really should be more concerned about this than they are you and what you got going on because somebody thought, oh, I'm going to wear her crown. Oh, I'm going to wear his crown. Oh, uh, no, the hell you won't. Oh, uh, no, you won't. Boo-boo. Uh, uh, not, not my divine beings. Give me one more card, please, and thank you. Spirit, before I get out of this raggedy-ass energy. Yeah, now they weighed down. Now they don't know what to do. Now they don't know what the hell to do. Sitting back looking stupid. With your goofy ass. This is what my spirit guides are saying. So if I'm coming off a little harder today, it's because these people are just out of time, out of luck. If they were reading the book of Revelations, they would really understand what the hell is going on. Don't run to the Bible now. Before you do, you still got to end up eating all this karmic debt, boo. First of all, you need to get sober so you can stop calling on deities and, and trying to pull rank on people while you sitting up high off of something that you can't even control. Whatever this person got going on, I'm getting alcohol, liquor. They could be smoking. I'm getting crack, anything. And I'm not even playing. And I don't play with stuff like this because I have people in my family that suffer from addictions. That's number one. But when you get to coming into the spirit world while you high and tripping out on, on whatever the hell you tripping the hell out on and you want to project that onto divine beings and then you wonder how the hell you set up in this energy. Okay. Somebody thought they got away with it. Somebody was really sitting up like, I got it. I got her energy. No, you fool. The demons are playing with you, honey. It's a sad day for you, baby. These people are protected. Whoever you trying to mess with, they're very protected. Temperance. You missed it. Okay, somebody.
everybody is doing this all because they don't have love, y'all. This was the purpose of this. This was the premise. This is what was encouraging them to keep going because they are somebody that is not destined to have love or they missed an opportunity. They could have missed an opportunity by way of this addiction, okay? By way of not wanting to work on their mental. By way of not wanting to get out of the dark, not of the soul, depression, anxiety, whatever it is. So now this person sits back and they target divine unions. That's all I see all up in here. It has been a while since I pulled a queen of pentacles, king of pentacles, emperor, empress, king of swords, queen of swords. What? King of Cups, Queen of Cups, what? like what? So whoever this is, this is their motive. They hate love. This person hates love. Yeah, they hate love. They don't want people coming in, giving you an offer. Okay? Heavy on the earth sign energy. Whoever this person is, they're a fake ass friend and they collaborated with two other people. Because they couldn't have done this work by themselves. They're weak. Why do people do this? When I was growing up back in the day, you know, and we would see people that wanted to, you know, whatever, brawl or fight, we would always say, you know what, you should square up. Square up, you know, for the young people, you know, square up just means, hey, it's one-on-one. -on -one. Why is it that there's three girls jumping one girl, you little mean ass girls? Why is there that there's four boys jumping one boy? If there's a disagreement, Right. And I don't condone violence. I'm just saying what people used to say when we were young and somebody got into it. And that's what it was. I do not condone violence. I don't like it. But in this case, spirit about to violently drag that tower down on the ass. OK, so that is a form of violence. Listen, but my thing is this. Why the gang stalking? Why does it take an entire group of people to take down one person by way of trying to take their crown when they knew very well that they couldn't do it? Somebody had to be high on something. When they thought up this Mickey Mouse ass, dried out, you know, raisin in the sun ass plan. I'm just being honest. Who convinced who? I'd love to hear the way the conversation went. Hey, here's what we're going to do. We're going to X, Y, Z. You're going to A, B, C. And then everybody ended up in this. The Nine of Swords. Okay, I just want to know what was the conversation. Somebody should have been smart enough. Right. I just heard blind leading the blind smart enough to talk the other person out of it, because what they did was they just brought a whole group of people down by way of karma. Needless to say, this is your message wherever you are on the planet. I love you. Listen, I always keep it real here. I pray that this message was resonating with you and or clarifying what you already knew. But here's the thing. They can't touch you. That's the that's the plot twist. They can't touch you until the next video. As always, peace be with you.